Welcome back, viewers. Today, we're diving deep into the recent POFMA correction issued to opposition politician Kenneth Gieretnam. As always, we encourage you to stay informed and engaged, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Let's get right into it. On August 30, 2023, the Ministry of Law issued a fourth Protection from Online Fossils and Manipulation Act correction direction to Kenneth Gieretnam. This comes as Gieretnam's third correction this month, making it the fourth for the year. The correction revolves around Gieretnam's social media posts and an article on the Rice Bowl Singapore TRS, website, where he discussed the Singapore government's management of reserves, labor force participation rates, and other related matters. According to Minute Law, Gieretnam made several false statements of fact in his posts. One of the most striking was his claim that the government does not expect to fully disperse the fund set aside for the Medulla Package, Pioneer Generation Package, and Merdeka Generation Package. Minute Law promptly clarified that these funds are specifically allocated for the packages, and the government is committed to their full disbursement. It's essential that we hold our politicians accountable for the accuracy of the information they provide. Moving on, Gieretnam's assertion about the labor force participation rate for Singapore citizens was also debunked. He claimed that the recent rate was below 50%, while Minute Law cited statistics from the Ministry of Manpower, MOM, that consistently show a rate well above 50%, reaching 68.3% in 2022. This highlights the importance of fact-checking and relying on credible sources before spreading information. Another significant aspect of the correction revolved around Gieretnam's allegations about Ridout Road property rentals. It's clear that his claims were baseless, as Minute Law clarified that the rentals were based on fair market value, and were not influenced by ministers' control over the Singapore Land Authority, SLA. This emphasizes the necessity of understanding the nuances behind decisions and not jumping to conclusions without proper evidence. Gieretnam's statement about money laundering and foreign tax evasion also didn't hold up to scrutiny. Minute Law made it clear that the government has robust measures in place to counter these offences, including anti-money laundering checks by financial institutions and the detection of suspicious transactions. The government's commitment to countering illegal activities is crucial for maintaining the integrity of the nation's financial system. In conclusion, the recent correction direction to Kenneth Gieretnam sheds light on the importance of accuracy and accountability in public discourse. It's our duty as informed citizens to critically evaluate the information we consume and share. What are your thoughts on this correction? Do you believe in the necessity of POFMA in maintaining factual discussions? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thought-provoking content. Thanks for tuning in.